Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of your OGR, as uh, today we're here at the fucking retirement home where we're gonna be putting Mike Smith in his home where he fucking belongs because he was absolutely doggy doo-doo. And I think we're gonna fucking bring Kenny Holland out here too because he is old and senile and doesn't know how to manage the team because he gets paid $5 million a fucking year and doesn't know how to evaluate goaltenders. It's absolutely embarrassing. We lost this game against the Canadians 5-2 when it actually should have been 7-2 because there was two offsides and Mike Smith allowed, you know, those two goals. Um... It was an absolute embarrassment of the night where Mike Smith just continues to play absolutely rank. Mike Smith has just been the worst goalie um, since coming back from injury. And I know Ken Holland was like, oh, you know, it's just the injuries. It's just, you know, he's warming back up. But the motherfucker said, Mike Smith said, he's like, oh, I'm going to be, you know, right back and going and I'll be good and back when I come back from my injury. Obviously, you have not. You are fucking, let's take a look at his record. He's 3-6 and six with an 885 save percentage, ladies and gentlemen. He's on a four-game losing streak. Every game we've had him in, he's at least allowed four goals. The only game he hasn't was Carolina and the New York Islanders where we won. That is embarrassing, me, uh, embarrassing to say that Mike Smith has been this fucking bad. And I'm sorry for going in on Mike Smith, but he deserves it. He absolutely deserves it. The one fucking play where he made a save, he's just like, Oh, guys, look at this. I saved a fucking puck. Oh, God, I saved a puck. It's like, grow up, man. You're a fucking embarrassment the entire fucking game. And ever since you returned from your injury, you've been an entire fucking joke. Don't be fucking cocky because you saved one fucking puck. Look at the score, buddy. Look at the fucking score. It should have been 7-2, but you were saved by Woodcroft and the head of the fucking video coach. It's embarrassing, man. Call up Stuart Skinner already. Send this fucking guy to retirement home. He does not deserve to be in the NHL right now with how bad he is. And I cannot believe we even handed him a two-year contract. What fucking made you think that he deserved a two-year contract? Oh, just because he had a good year last year. Y yeah, so what? You don't fucking give an old goalie like this a big contract like this. We have seen it during our entire hockey lives. That goalies are fucking voodoo. And this is what I mean by hockey goalies are voodoo. Smith is a pile of hot trash right now. And deserves to not be in the NHL if he's going to continue playing like this. Honestly. An 891 save percentage and a 3.57 goals against average. And you're still playing him? is an absolute joke. An absolute fucking joke. I would honestly finish this video right here if that's all I wanted to talk about, but I wanted to get into more about this game. Because honestly, I could just make an entire 30 fucking minute video talking about Mike Smith and how horribly he has been in this game and how clunky he was looking and how every time and every excuse you can make up in the face of the planet and then you watch the goal where he's looking at the motherfucker ready and then just does the total fucking opposite where he puts his glove down low or he doesn't put it up high or he just looks clunky or he's falling over because he's too fucking old or he's injured and doesn't take himself out of the own fucking game. I, I understand you want to be a warrior. I understand that, you know, you want to play while you're injured, but if you cannot stay healthy the entire fucking year, then don't play. He's injured again. He's not even at practice today. Not even at practice today. He didn't show up to the fucking interviews because he was injured. This is the third time he's been injured this year. Just hang up the skates, Mike Smith. Seriously, man. You cannot just keep getting injured and thinking you could keep going, man. Just fucking retire. Go to the retirement home already. Yeah. I'm sorry for being too mean. But my lord. Don't, like, it's just... Mike Smith is becoming the most hated oiler in my opinion right now. With all my fucking heart. He is the most hated oiler. Because he was fucking amazing last year. He was absolutely amazing and I loved Mike Smith last year. But this year, he's being a piece of shit to all the defensemen on the team. He is... He can't save a fucking puck so he's just gonna blame everyone else. And that's all he does. That's all he does right now for this team. His complaints... He, he, he puts up his glove like he just won the Stanley Cup because he won, he saved one fucking puck in a 4-2 game. Like, holy shit, buddy. Good job. <laughs> woo 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 woo
Good job, buddy. We're not talking about that fucking moron anymore, even though every goal is basically his fault. And, and not like every goal was his fault. We definitely did play bad defensively in this game, no doubt about that. But there were saves that he needed to make, and he simply did not make them. Simply as that. It should have been a 7-2 game, but it was saved, and it was only he only allowed four goals in this game. So, good for you, Mike Smith. Good for you. You're a fucking dumbass. Let's move on before I keep flipping my shit on Mike Smith. Um, Cole Caulfield scored his 8th goal of the season. Oh, wow! Mike Smith couldn't save this one. Oh, shit! And then right after that, Evander Kane got his 8th goal of the season. Um, you know what? Every goal that uh, the Canadians scored was definitely a bad defensive play, and Mike Smith couldn't make the save. So we're not even going to talk about the Canadians scoring goals. We're just going to skim over it, because honestly, who fucking cares? Evander Kane. Oh, he scored his 8th goal of the season. Amazing goal. Nice tap into the back of the net. Brendan Gallagher scored his goal. You guys already know what happened. Ryan McLeod scored his sixth goal of the season, which was a nice drive of the net by Zach Hyman. McLeod picked up the juicy rebound, buried it in the back of the net for his sixth goal of the season, which was really nice. Uh, and then Suzuki, uh, which he scored once on the power play, got turned over and then scored again in a similar sort of fashion. And uh, you know what happens. Uh, Luckin and scored his 11th, and then Mike Hoffman got his 11th goal uh, of the season as well. You kind of guys all know. You already know what happened. Moving into uh, the players, uh, we had Kyle Turst for some reason in the night, and he did not look good at all. Only playing about four minutes. He was not phenomenal. I, I give it, Ryan and Fogel were probably one of our better players. They weren't fantastic defensively, but they were generating some good offense, but they weren't terrible defensively. Yamamoto and Drysaddle, I thought, were generating some good offense, and I thought they looked really good throughout the entire night. Kane was meh on the top line. He did get a goal, but not looking super phenomenal. Like, the only thing that I really, like, the biggest dislike that I got about Kane is his skating. It's not looking phenomenal. He does, he has been putting up points, and he has been a big finishing guy for us, which is nice, because we definitely need that offense. Um, which is really nice. Uh, moving forward, Devon Shore really didn't look that great. Uh, McDavid was flying around, just wasn't able to generate too much alongside of Hyman and McLeod. Um, Drysdale got a few minutes up on the top line, but once again, they just weren't able to do very much. And I think, really, we're uh, we're missing Nuge and Pulley Arvey right now in our lineup. <laughs> no doubt about that. We are missing those two guys massively in our forward court because our forward court is looking very bleak right now. We don't have a lot of offensive contributors, especially when you get down to the depth when you're playing fucking Fogel, Ryan, and Shore alongside of each other because we decide not to call up Marodi or Griffith to uh, get some offensive help right now. And uh, moving forward towards the defense, Bouchard got an illness, so he only played about nine minutes, and he was looking not too bad. Uh, Duncan Keith didn't have a terrible game. CC had a phenomenal game. I thought he was playing really well defensively and generating some good offense. I like the pair between Nurse and CC, and I'd like to see them continue to play alongside of each other and uh, gain some chemistry because once they gain some chemistry, I think they could be a really good defensive pairing. It's kind of like what I was saying last year, like we need to play more Larson alongside a Nurse and we never did, um, but I would like to see CC alongside of Nurse a lot more just because CC's that defensive defenseman. I think he could fit really good alongside a Nurse and just allow Nurse to play that offensive ability. Not just that, Nurse has been really good two-way guy as well this year, and I like to see them be that, you know, that top defensive parent for the Edmonton Oilers. Um, Broberg had a bit of a rough game, but that didn't look terrible, was moving the puck quite nice. Nemelinum had a few bad turnovers throughout the game. Uh, Legison was ass, and Turris did not look very good either. Um, and that's honestly all I want to cover. Um, losing this game really puts us in a bad position, to be quite honest with you. Uh, and, and in my opinion, this is kind of uh, what's going to shoot us in the foot. Uh, I know I said that Tippett, you know, firing him was going to be a big step for us. Uh, I didn't imagine the goaltending being this bad in my head when I thought Woodcroft was coming to coach the team. I thought we were going to get better goaltending than what we were. I thought it was going to be on a trajectory up, and um, I guess I was fucking wrong. Uh, because honestly, if we don't get goaltending, and uh, we don't call up Skinner, and we continue to go with Koskin and Smith, we're not making it to the playoffs, pure and simple. Um, if Holland's going to continue fucking just keeping Smith up in the NHL and not uh, calling up Skinner, it's a big mistake because Skinner deserves a chance right now. Having a 9-13 save percentage, looking like one of our better goalies uh, during this year. He deserves it better than Mike Smith. When you have an 891 save percentage and Skinner had a 913 and almost, yeah, in the same amount of games as Mike Smith, you don't deserve to be in the NHL. Pure and simple, Mike Smith is an NHL goalie and Skinner should be up 
in the NHL. Pure and fucking simple. No doubt about that. So, um, I'm going to end the video here, guys. There is nothing else I really want to talk about. I'm just in absolute disgust with the way that the Oilers played. Um, really embarrassing. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Adios, amigos.